Hi there. Um, I've got so many things to talk about. I'm going to use a card and I'm going to use my glasses so I don't miss anything. But I wanted to start off by saying how grateful we are to the PST and how supportive they are in, in all things. The voice of the fans, which are fantastic. Uh, season tickets, all the things that PST has done. Uh, Jimmy Dickinson, supporting the Jimmy Dickinson statue. It's been fantastic. I, also, PITC has been fantastic, getting the John Jenkins Stadium ready. Uh, Claire has always been great in the community, and I just wanted to mention both the PST and the PITC. So let's go through some topics. Let's start with the season. As I speak and as you listen, we're number one in the table, uh, only by one point, <laughs> and there's a lot to go. And we've had some seasons in the past where the Christmas period has not been great for us in the January period. But I think uh, this year, with the way we've recruited, having Rich Hughes on board, having John Massigno as our coach, uh, it feels really good. And these guys are professional, young, uh, on top of it. Uh, management is encouraged. You're encouraged. I'm encouraged. I got my fingers crossed for the rest of the season. We certainly want to get promoted. Uh, that's our goal. Always has been our goal. Uh, and of course, when we get into the championship, the goal will be to go further, but uh, one step at a time. Uh, oh, I want to mention the women's team. I mean, this is really exciting. They're fantastic. Uh, we're supporting them uh, financially and supporting them as cheerleaders. They're awesome. Attendance has risen substantially. We'll keep rising to the point that they'll eventually be playing at Fratton Park. And I congratulate them. They, they're also at the top of the table. But again, there's a lot left in the season. And whereas the men's team, three teams are promoted. On the women's side, only one team is promoted. So keep your fingers crossed for both teams going forward. Uh, let's talk about Fratton Park. I'm really proud of the, at the success we've had physically uh, with not only the park, but with Piglets, with the food. Uh, I think by the end of the year, our home fans uh, will be able to occupy uh, the Milton Inn as it will be completed. Uh, the elevator will be up for fans that want it, that need to use it. Uh, our attendance uh, is fantastic. Our capacity is fantastic. We've saved capacity, which we would have lost, as you all know, uh, for safety. You know, there was a lot to do in Fratton Park. When you're on the ocean, uh, and you have metal and you have salt water, things decay faster than they would in London, say. So Fratton Park is great. We, we're going to do the gantry. Uh, so we have perfect television uh, coverage for Sky when they take over next year. Uh, we're also going to do something that uh, Andrew, as a CEO, has a lot of uh, experience in, which is uh, non-game uh, day support with weddings and, and the like. And we're completely renovating both the inside and the outside of the Victory Lounge. So... There's a lot happening in Fratton Park. We've got the safe standing in, done in the Fratton. And, oh, by the way, in the North Stand, we're going to expand uh, areas that now are not available for halftime. So the lines, the queues for food, uh, the toilets and the rest will be relieved. There'll be much more space. A lot of these things are, you know, not seen on a daily basis by the fans. Uh, the fans are much more, it's much more visible for the fans uh, our recruiting, how we're doing on the pitch, our coaches and so forth. But all the back of the house stuff is very important. Uh, of course, talking about back of the house, we now own uh, the training ground. Uh, we've redone you know, the swimming pool and all of that for the public. We're now going to bring the first team into that building, which I think uh, Rich Hughes will be very happy about because he's sitting there alone and we're going to get rid of all those temporary buildings that are long since, since past their expiration date. So that's happening. Uh, the I'm putting my glasses on because I don't want to miss anything here. Uh, oh, we're very happy that the government has created an independent 
football regulator. Now, that sounds weird and odd, but as you know, financial fair play is not working. Uh, many teams are in trouble. Uh, owners are overspending when they shouldn't be, borrowing money when they shouldn't do that. We've never borrowed a dime to support this club. And although this won't affect us as much as it will the rest of the league, you want the league, whether it's League Two, One, Championship, uh, to be able to be sustainable. And I think this is a, a big improvement. So all in all, between you all and the support of the fans, between the whole uh, community efforts that we have, the mainly, I guess, one of the big things is the way we have uh, adjusted the way we recruit, going for young and upcoming uh, aggressive players rather than relying on getting loan players. We have much more aggressive recruiting, much more knowledge about where these players are looking for exist, uh, improving the uh, training ground, having the first team back into that, into that building. Uh, all these things relate to uh, appealing to young players that want to come to Portsmouth. I mean, it's great to come to Portsmouth because of the city itself, but we have to supply uh, decent facilities. Hopefully at some point we'll get that bridge uh, on the railroad tracks so people that come in the train, and many, many do, are able to get to Fratton Park without uh, skirting around cars uh, on a bad way to come, and, and that will happen. So all in all, I got to say, this is a good time. So I like speaking to you this time, but I will speak to you at times that are not this good. But right now, right now being number one in men's side, being number one on the women's side, uh, the investment that we're making, everything f feels great, but only as great as we get the support, which we've had from, from PST. So enjoy your meeting. Uh, I look forward to seeing you when I, you know, now that COVID is kind of over, I'm, I'm going to get there a lot. Eric Eisner has been there. He was there recently. Uh, Breck and Andrews, my other two sons, my wife will all be over there much more often now that traveling is uh, easier and safer. So good luck, and uh, let's see if we can stay in, in the top two uh, going into May. Thank you. Hey, oh, oh, hey.